Hello and welcome to section 13, Advanced Configuration Options. In this section, we will look at some of the more advanced admin tasks for app volumes. So what are we going to cover in this section? In this section, we're going to take a closer look at some of the more advanced administration tasks of working in an app volumes environment. Some of these tasks have been labeled as advanced as they are not all GUI driven from the app volumes management console and some of them require manual steps in order to complete. We're going to look at creating custom volumes for both app stacks and writable volumes before then looking at storage groups, VHD based environments, and then finally how to upgrade to a new version of the software. So let's move on to the first video of this section and look at how we create a new custom app stack template. We're going to create a new app stack template. This template is going to be a different size to the default 20 gig app stack template that you would normally deploy and come standard with the app volume software. We will follow the steps to create the new template and then we'll import it into our existing app volumes environment. As mentioned previously, the steps to complete in order to create a custom app stack template are somewhat manual. We've described these using this flowchart on screen. So we start by creating a brand new hard drive and we create that on a virtual desktop machine that's completely vanilla, not been part of app volumes in any way, shape or form. We then initialize and format that new virtual hard drive as we would with any other hard drive that we would create. Next, we're going to attach an existing hard drive and this existing hard drive contains the app stack template. So the files that help build what an app stack looks like. So the script files for mounting, etc. What we're then going to do is we're going to copy those template files from the existing drive onto the new drive that we've just created. Once we've copied the files, we can then unmount those hard drives and then we can copy the new template to the data store. So into our app volumes environment. At this point, we probably want to rename it because it will have the name of the virtual machine from which it was created on. And then finally, we can import that into our app stacks data store on our app volumes manager. And then we're ready to go and create our new app stack. In this video, we're going to create our own custom app stack. If you remember back when we created our first app stacks, we used an app stack template that was 20 gig in size, which is the default template size. Now that 20 gig might be too big, maybe too small, depending on the amount of patched or updates that you need to place in your app stack. So therefore you may want to make your own custom size. So here we're going to follow the steps required to do exactly that. So how are we going to do that? So we've logged into our admin desktop and we've launched a vSphere web client. And basically here we have a Windows 7 desktop that is a completely clean build. It has no app volumes agent installed. It's basically a brand new out of the box vanilla desktop. What we're going to do is create our new app stack template by creating a new hard drive and then copying the existing template files to it. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to edit our settings of our virtual machine and we're going to add a new device, that device being a new hard disk. We click add. Our new hard disk size, in this example, we're going to create a 10 gig hard drive, so half the size of the original. So now we've created our new hard drive. We're just going to thin provision that and then click on OK. So now we've created our new hard drive and attached that to our virtual 7 Windows machine. So the next thing we need to do is actually go and complete some tasks on the desktop itself. We've now switched to that desktop, our Windows 7 machine. And the first thing we need to do is initialize that new disk. So from the desktop, we're going to go computer, manage, and then we're going to click on disk management. So now you can see here that we've got a new disk. Do we want to initialize it? We click OK to initialize it. And now we can see here, if we just expand that, here's our disk one basic 10 gig unallocated disk. So we right click and we go for a new simple volume. Click next on the simple volume wizard, accept the default size. We're going to go with the 10 gig, assign a drive letter. We just accept that and then just give this a new volume label. Uh, we call this app volumes 10 gig. So now we know in Windows what that is. Perform a quick format. Next, and then we see our summary and then we click finish. So now the disk has been formatted. So the next step is to copy the app volumes app stack template existing files onto this disk. So to do this, we're going to attach an existing template or the standard default template you use when you create an app stack and attach it to the same machine and then copy the files across from disk to disk. 
So we've gone back to our vSphere web client and our Windows 7 virtual machine that we've just used to uh, create the new disk. So again, we're going to edit the settings. And we're, from the new device option, we're going to select an existing hard drive because we're going to attach an existing template. Click on add. So now we're going to go and find that file. So we expand out our local data store. So we're going to look for our cloud volumes folder on our data store. Then we are going to go into our existing app templates. And then you see here, here's our template.vmdk. It's 89 meg as it's thin provisioned. And that means there's 89 megabytes of files in there that basically make the template work. So all the scripts and files that make app stacks work. So we select the template, click on OK. Then we just need to change one option. So we expand the disk options here and we make the disk independent and non-persistent and then click OK. So now we've attached our existing template to our machine. So now we can switch back to the desktop of our Windows 7 machine. And now we can see here from our disk manager, our virtual machine, we have both disks attached. Here's our 10 gig disk. And then below it, we have our standard 20 gig template that we just attached. So we can see both are attached. So what we're going to do is if we open up a Windows Explorer, we're going to browse to that CV apps disk. So the existing template and you'll see all these template files, all the scripts, batch files and config files that app volumes needs in order to work. So on here, we just do a control A to highlight all the files. Then we do a right click send to and we want to send that to our app volumes 10 gig drive or our E drive. So we're going to copy those there. So now if we go back and have a look at that drive, so if we go here, look at our app volumes 10 gig, we'll see that all the files are here. So basically we've now moved all the files to our new disk. So now we've created the new disk and copied the files. We can now detach both disks from the machine as we basically finished with them. So again, we're going to edit the settings on our Windows 7 machine. And we go to hard disk two. We can see here's our 10 gig drive. So we're just basically going to click the cross here to remove. And don't delete the files from the data store. Make sure that's unchecked and click OK. And then basically go back and do exactly the same for the other disk. So our Windows 7 machine, right click, edit settings. And then we see our 20 gig existing template disk. Again, click the cross to remove the disk. Do not delete the files from the data store. So, okay, both disks are now detached from the virtual machine. So the next thing we need to do is move and rename the VMDK file that we just created. So if we go back to our vSphere web client and browse to where we created the new disk, it was created in virtual underscore win underscore seven, which was the name of the virtual machine. So that you will see that we have virtual underscore win underscore seven dot VMDK, which is the C drive of that particular virtual machine. And then we see the same with the underscore one, which is the second disk that we created as our new template. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this. So we click the rename button, rename selection. And basically we're going to call this a V underscore 10 gig underscore template. Uh, leave the dot VMDK, click OK. So now that's been renamed. Next, we need to move it to our app volumes environment. So we're going to just highlight again, and we're going to click the button for just highlight that. Uh, click the button for uh, move to new location, and so we scroll down again. We find our cloud volumes. Just scroll down, expand cloud volumes, and then we're going to drop this directly into our apps. So if we expand apps and our apps underscore templates because that is the folder that contains our app volume templates. So now that's all ready to be used. The final thing to complete is just to check that the template is working OK. So to do that, we're going to create an app stack or at least start the process to make sure we can see our template. So we've logged into our app volumes manager. We're going to click on volumes and then we're going to click on our app stacks tab and then the create app stack button. So name, we'll just call this test for now, and we'll put it in the local data store with the standard path. And then if we go down to our template and down 
double click, we can see our template.vmdk, our original 20 gig template, but also we have this new AV underscore 10 gig template, which we'll select. We'll give this a description, test apps, click create, then we go for wait completion. So we're creating an app stack. So now we've created the app stack and then it will be just a case of logging onto our provisioning machine and then going ahead and provisioning the applications.